Good morning. It's Monday morning again, and we are in June. The year is flying by. My name is Melissa Epkin, and I'm the pastor at the Iliopolis and Nyanic Christian Churches in Iliopolis and Nyanic, Illinois. I'm also the creator and founder of Melissa Ebkin Light Life and Love Ministries. This is an outreach effort for those who, who don't have a church connection or who are spiritual and not religious, but anyone wanting to work on their spirituality, building their faith or their spiritual health, that's what Life Life, Light Life and Love Ministries is there to support you in. I'm also the host of the Pursuing Uncomfortable podcast called Pursuing Uncomfortable with Melissa Ebkin, and it's available wherever you listen to podcasts. That said, I want to welcome you all to this new week. As you can see, it's kind of dark and gloomy here. It's probably going to rain again, and it's so it cracks me up because we're in this cycle where it rains so much that if there's a 10 to 20% chance of rain listed on the daily weather app, it's like, oh, probably going to rain. As opposed to those seasons when it's so dry, where it's less than 80% chance of rain's like, eh, it doesn't look like we're going to rain today. But perception is so funny. But anyway, that aside, this morning I want to tell you a few things about the weekend. This weekend was incredible. In the place I live, we had our town festival this weekend. And there are a handful of folks that do so much work to make this festival a reality to make it possible for other folks and I want to acknowledge them all the hard work that they put in and invite everyone to put it on their calendar for next year that first Saturday of June if you're around here it is such a great day and if you have kids they will have a blast my kid got drug home at about nine o'clock after when it finally got dark and was exhausted from a day full of so much fun and activities. So kudos to everyone who puts that on and folks put it on your calendar for next year. You don't want to miss it. That said, I want to talk about summer. I want to talk about opportunities. I want to talk about our spiritual health. I want to talk about doing our best on purpose. I'm not going to talk about all of that because I would be on here all day. So I'm going to distill it all into a short message for you this morning. And what's on my mind is being purposeful about what we do, purposeful about what we put into our bodies, purposeful about what we put into our minds, purposeful about what we feed to our spirits. And if we're not, we're going to end up with, you know, some bad consequences or some at least less than comfortable consequences. And it, it's vital for our physical health that we put healthy things into our body. It's vital for our mental health that we put healthy things into our mind. It's vital for our spiritual health that we put healthy things into our spirit. We know these things. This is just a reminder of something that you already know to be true. To be purposeful about what you expose yourself to, what you spend time with, and how be mindful of how that influences your overall health, well-being, and happiness. So one thing I do want to highlight as helpful and a benefit, if you're a mom or if you're a dad, that it does a lot of educating your kids and a lot of that formation, I want you to know about the Homeschool Summer Summit. I know some folks who homeschool, and I know a lot of folks that don't. However, this summit is free. Free. The cost is zero. And there are over 53 speakers, and they're doing multiple workshops. And it's all about helping kids learn and maintain what they learn and have fun doing it. So even if you don't homeschool, but you want to help your kid to learn well, and to maintain and retain what they learn, then this is gonna be so beneficial to you. But other than that, there are also workshops on character development, faith development, and so much good stuff. It starts the third week of June. I'm gonna have a link in the comments, and I'm gonna create an event for you that is just a one-click link, and you can get there again. It costs nothing to join this. 
and there are days packed full of helpful information and videos so make sure you register for that and check it out there might only be one workshop that speaks to you but that's one workshop that speaks to you at no cost and there might be 12 every day that blows your mind but make sure you check it out there is an opportunity to upgrade to have lifetime access to it if so keep that in mind as well as you're absorbing all this stuff and you're frantically trying to keep track of everything, all of this good stuff. Just know that you can have access to this if you like. It's called Homeschool Mom Summer Summit. Again, I'm going to be creating a link. I'm going to create an event. So you'll have plenty of access to that. But this is going to be so good for your family, for you, and for your soul. It's purposefully putting good things into your heart and your mind for the summer and to help shape and mold your kids as well. So I encourage you to do that. Also, I want you to know that the summit, put the coordinators who put all this together, they're partnering with an organization. It's a nonprofit called For the Silent. And this organization works to stop sex trafficking. So when you, if you do decide to upgrade, you are a partner in that vital work. So keep that in mind as well. But folks, be mindful of what you interact with. You know, I talked last week about the need to sometimes you just got to change a channel. And that is so true. When you become aware of the things that you're watching, the things that you're reading, the things that you're feeding on, if they're not helpful for you, change the channel. Just stop and reflect and make sure that you are filling your body, mind, and spirit with things that will edify you, that will build you up, and that you can share that with others. So that's my message for you this morning, to live on purpose, live with purpose. And, you know, there are going to be difficulties along the way. There are going to be struggles along the way. Don't let those things shrink your life. Lean into those, overcome them, knock them out of your life, and there are less things that will limit you. If you need some support with that, reach out. I'm happy to support you with that. I want you to have a vital and healthy life. My name, again, is Melissa Ebkin, pastor in Iliopolis and Niantic founder of Light Life and Love Ministries and host of the Pursuing Uncomfortable podcast. I put out resources weekly in the Light Life and Love Spiritual Transformation Group, so make sure you're part of that group and getting those resources. And if you have something in particular that you're struggling with or that you want, let me know. Let me know. I can put something together for you. So friends, I hope you're having a great week. Live on purpose. And I'll see you here again next Monday. Bye for now.